Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions and a fellow fan of the Golden Girls, King Woods. Uh, people were wanting him to come out a lot earlier when they did the Ring Royalty Month or whatever it was, uh, wondering where he was going to be, hoping maybe they would reskin Razor into um, King Woods to make a green gem generation trainer readily available, but alas, the king has arrived. Uh, so let's take a look. He is a modern era chaotic showboat. Coachability at 15k re receives 20% less damage from multiply gems. Um, I don't hate this. I know there are a lot of um, people that are like, well, we already have class specific 70% uh, multi reduction. You can stack them now. I don't, I don't hate it. It gives you some flexibility. Links, Smackdown, any color moves, start with one more move point. The New Day, moves that generate color turn gems will create two more color turn gems, uh, which still currently only affects Acro Kofi and Trickster Woods. So I personally would love to see this link get updated in the near future. Modern Era gems do 5% more damage and just the one standard set of regal looking gear this is beautiful they did a fantastic job with this um and showboat golden betty would be proud betty would absolutely be proud and uh do, do, do. yeah pretty cool pretty cool uh, so I'm going to have three movesets for you to show, and then we're going to talk about his six-star build. Uh, obviously can't show it as he is five-star gold, but we will be mentioning it. First build is three-star, and we're sticking with the OG tricolor moves. Uh, yellow one, purple one, red one. They all feed into each other pretty good, so I don't hate this. I don't hate this at all. Uh, so yellow one, sleeper hold, color submission, 9 MP, make 25 random gems into purple submission gems, and do 118,473 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into reinforced gems. Uh, purple one, springboard tornado, DDT, 4 MP. Deal 51,275 damage and choose a 3x1 area to swap into red gems. And red 1, jumping hook, kick, 5 MP. Deal 69,672 damage and make 12 random gems into yellow gems. So it's a random color sub, which is hit and miss, but it's very high damage. And I mean, you hit one match, you've got this reloaded. Choose to make red to reload this, and then you're putting out a decent amount of yellows. Should be able to get some kind of a cascade. It is random, but they all recycle into each other quite nice. Uh, so the entourage for this. I will make a note. I do have max tour perks, so this is how um, I would run him in a feud. I would use Butch for red MP, and then we're going to go super sub, just because this is probably how you would run the build anyways um zombie aj for three more turns acro shelton for 20 percent more damage and tech drew 50 percent more damage and one more turn it has just occurred to me that i didn't do the feud math so guess what we're gonna do it together uh window capture of the calculator this is gonna be super scuff but i am exhausted I am exhausted. It's been a day. So, in real time, folks. In real time. One, one, eight, four, seven, three, plus 270% equals 
438, we get our submathamadu thing out. And we go to properties. And we edit. 438350. No, that's not right. That's the wrong number. That's the last number. I know how to do this. I do this all the time. 118473. Plus 270%. Now we get to do the um, 438350. Put that number down here. Oh, God. Oh, God. What have I done? Okay. I can do this. I'm, not, I'm an adult. I can do this. Times and then do 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 hide that. Uh, three turns from perks. Base is three, and then three from so so it'll be times ten. There you go. Just shift everything over a decimal point. Crack that back open and put in. The proper number. But now you know how to do feud math too, when you need to figure out a sub for your whoever. Goldie approved method. Goodbye calculator. Hello feud math. All right. So there you got your base, your boosts based on 200% from feud perks, 50% uh, from Drew, 20% from Shelton. And then 10 turns, 3 base, 3 more from perks, 3 from zombie AJ, and 1 from Drew. So about 4.3 pushing 4.4 million damage in a feud. Obviously can't emulate that on the road. We're going to go against another king in Seamus. And uh, for the belt, I'm going full armor. I don't even have a plate attached. I don't think it, you need one, really. Maybe a cheap shot if you have one laying around. Uh, but I tried to find some gem defense substats. Did not have a whole lot of luck. Uh, and we're just going kind of all rainbow everything. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so like I said, max tour perks means this is going to be ready to go. Uh, but we have the red MP trainer, so in a feud, you would use the jumping hook kick. I'll take that every day and twice on Sunday. We'll use that just to get the red loaded up. And then sleeper hold. Did they all connect? No, okay. I was gonna say that is some BS. Oh wow. He and literally every single gem but one. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is the uh, the risk you run with a random color sub. But, uh, we got lucky. We got lucky. And lather, rinse, repeat. I doubt we can pin him with this, but, uh, we're definitely gonna try. And by pin, I mean keep him down. Yeah, no. That's fine. That's fine. And hit this up again. The 200,000 for seven turns, 1.4 mil or so. Wow. Again, we are clinging on for dear life in the bottom corner here. But thankfully it does recycle, so.
punch in the face for good measure. Kick out, no problem. And the move damage is enough to take his remaining health, so we'll just use this. Make ourselves a four match. And the match is over. So, fairly straightforward in terms of recycling itself, loading up all the moves, being able to hit the sub multiple times. Uh, you saw the risk involved with 25 purple, random purple gems going out. If they all chain together, and your opponent's going to get a bunch of wild cards, which increases their chance of kicking out, because um, it's going to give them more turns, they get your wild card in that situation. Um, so in that respect, it's eh, a little scary, um, but very high damage. And when it works, it it works. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what he has available at four star. Four star build, we're going to take a look at brings in um, a second finisher and red two, which is the four star move. So we're going to use purple one, the um, springboard tornado DDT four MP to choose a three by one of red. Uh, purple 2 is the honor roll 10 MP finisher. Deal 110,786 plus 38,752 bonus damage for every reinforced gem and pin the opponent. And red 2, the gut wrench face buster 4 MP. Deal 49,837 damage and choose two gems to make into two turn juggernaut gems that will make seven random gems into reinforced on every countdown turn and increase your purple MP by six at the end of the countdown. Entourage for this, again, I'm keeping it basic. There are a lot more options though. Um, junkyard Dog for 35% more bonus damage on the finisher. And then I'm gonna go full gem defense. So Honky Tonk Man for 30% less from any color gem. And then we're going against King Seamus, so we're going to target his greens and his reds. 20% reduction from each. Um, if you have Hall of Fame Yokozuna, he will add to the reinforced bonus damage. If you have Acro Doink, um, he will add to the base finisher damage. Again, I have max tour perks, and these are both 4 MP moves, so I'm not going to use an MP trainer. But you could use an MP trainer if you need to. And the belt, we're keeping full armor. I don't have a purple percent, but I am going to run the 60k flat. And then plate, what the rock is cooking. Whenever you break three or more red gems, get three purple move points at the end of your turn. So we'll get these out first. And we'll go loop. And then we don't have a place where we can give ourselves a wild card, unfortunately. But what I can do is flip that purple gem. Ta da! So we can get out three sets of Juggernaut gems. Hopefully, if we don't cascade, which we shouldn't, but you know how that works. Hey! Finisher is loaded. Get put those out. And then we're going to pin, so let's just break stuff. You better kick out. Oh boy, you better kick out. Thank you. Thank you for being reinforced. Alright. Board's gonna go back. Uh, and then, so, hold on. 49. 7 by 7, so it's 49. So, 48. 47. 46, 45, 44, 43, 42. So there's 42 reinforced gems on the board, and we're going to multiply that by 52,000. Uh, okay. Yo! 
2.3 mil. And then if they kick out, your Juggernaut gems trigger again and reload your finisher. So you could, and like you could boost that finisher damage so much. Like I said, Acro Doink, pur Purple Percent, even um, Trickster Big Show or Hall of Fame Trish for purple uh, move damage. Yokozuna for the reinforce. Um, purple percent metal and stick with armor. You could do a lot more damage with that. Uh, but that is the four star build. Let's go ahead and look at the five star move. Five star move brings in yellow two and yellow three to be run alongside red one. Uh, so yellow two, the shining wizard nine MP deal 98,764 damage and choose a three by three area to make into heal gems of strength 113,697. And yellow three, lost in the woods, 9 MP, deal 99,835 damage, and make nine heal gems into red gems. Um, so you're going to make an area of heal gems, you get to choose that area, and then you're going to turn all of them red, meaning um, you're going to be gaining just over a million health. Um, and then you're going to reload the jumping hook kick, which is in turn going to fill these two yellow moves. Entourage for this. Butch to get going on turn one. I'm bringing in uh, Showboat Big E. Uh, one, he's in the New Day. Two, get well soon, Big E. I hope to see you wrestle again someday. And three, uh, yellow move damage. Because why not? It's not like these gems are going to do anything for us. Uh, and then we're going to keep with the gem defense of red and green. And sticking with armor. Bringing in a yellow percent. I'm not using a plate. I do want to, however, point out if you use the mysterious uh, mask plate, which is whenever you generate heal gems, increase your yellow move damage for however many turns. Uh, that would be an excellent plate to use for this build if not you could use a general's orders if you want to ensure the recycling you could also use a cheap shot um to just you know have that extra chance of keeping the opponent down not going to be something where you win quick i don't think because you're going to destroy the heal gems and those are going to do zero damage but uh you certainly will not die so let's get this going Yay! Alright, so Shining Wizard, we have that up to 242,000. Hit that, choose a 3x3. Three three. Let's make into heal gems that we're going to turn red. So I'm going to put them there. We can hook onto that and that and maybe get some cascades into those yellow gems. Help charge things up a bit. Lost in the woods. I've always loved that move. Looks really cool. Ta-da! Ta-da! Obviously we're not gaining back any health because we were at full health, but... Loaded up and pinned. Hopefully this pins us. Oh yeah. No issues there. Yeah. Oh well. Knee to the face. Um, where do we want to go? Let's go there. Turn all those red. Nice, we got two yellow matches. He is going to sub us, though. 
Which is fine. I'm gonna show off the recyclability and the healing powers of this build. I don't like that we're not getting red matches and stuff. Mm. But I love that that doesn't make any freaking noise anymore. Okay, we got a yellow match. That'll help. I will take that. He's going to turn his cross breaks into red and he's not going to connect any of them? Hold on. Fail. <laughs> Game! Loser. Anyways, I'll take those reds. Thank you very much. And more of the same. No cascade, but we're all healed up. So this would be a nice uh, piss off your opponent defensive build. If you're into that kind of thing. I certainly would not know. Could not be me. If you wanted, you could put Dolph instead of Biggie. Just in case you're worried about not Cascading and getting the yellow matches. You could use Dolph to give yourself more yellow gems. I don't think it's totally necessary. And in like feud perks, you'll get some extra anyways. A nice little pocket here. Could do it. Nice. Critical. And with the ray plate, that move damage is just gonna keep going up. Nice cascade. All right. So full armor build, remember? And we've nerfed his two primary, his primary and secondary color. So, ta-da! Full health win. So that's how that one looks. And let's talk about what we can expect from him at six star. So the last thing I want to do is point out um, what is available for King Woods at 6 star. Um, at 6 star, he gets a purple move, the missile drop kick, and you choose yellow gems to destroy. Um, so I wanted to point that out because it will help you recycle the sleeper hold and the missile drop kick. You could run that with the shining wizard. So choose purple to turn... Um, purple submission gems charge up. Oh, no, it's not choose. It's a random. Sorry. It's random. Uh, but random purple submission gems to load up the missile drop kick. Choose yellow to destroy. Put some heal gems on the board if you need to. And then hit the sub again. So that concludes the preview on King Woods. Let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, subscribe, etc. Thank you very much for watching and thank you for being a friend.